Tiger Woods officially back playing golf an event, and it was with his son Charlie at the PNC Championship in Orlando. The Ritz Carlton Golf Club will play host to this annual holiday treat. Woods on the comeback trail once again, but making his first start in 2021 after a horrific car crash in February. Not only be fun, but to be with his young club, 36 hole test to see how that body will hold up. Similar to years prior, all participants must have won a major championship or a player's title for eligibility. The format of two-person scramble Saturday and Sunday. According to Caesar Sportsbook, the favorites are defending champions Justin Thomas and his father Mike. Mike, a PGA teaching professional at Harmony Landing Country Club in Goshen, Kentucky. They are your betting favorites at 2-1. to one. All right, let's get things started with Mark Immelman of the First Cut Podcast and our golf analyst joining us here on CBS Sports HQ. So, Tiger's back. He's with Charlie at this tournament. Mark, what are your overall thoughts on having both guys back? Well, first off, Tommy, i got to go with excitement. I mean, who would have thought that the week prior to Christmas, uh, the PGA Tour would get this huge boon, boon and Tiger Woods coming back? And I'll tell you what, the buzz is palpable. The tickets are sold out. I know the ratings on the weekend will be off the charts. And and just the entire golfing world is, is jacked about the Woods' return. Um, to me, it's quite miraculous, to be honest. I mean, it's just ten and a half, I think, short months ago from when, you know, he could barely walk. He was in a hospital bed, in a wheelchair now, and now he's coming back to play. So, so to get out here with his son, I think it's awfully special. I think he's going to be in a situation where all eyes will be on him. And in a funny sort of a way, he's making a bit of a non-verbal statement. So I'm just excited to see how the whole thing transpires. In terms of competing, who knows it's Tiger, but they finished seventh last year. So I wouldn't say I like their chances this year that much. We'll get to the likelihood of some of those tournaments in just a bit. But again, I know you've talked about it on the First Cut podcast, maybe the first time here on CBS Sports HQ, the significance mark of tiger's return one thing of course is to watch some videos of his recovery then the press conference of course down at bahamas but tiger actually being back what do you think that means for the sport i think for the sport as a whole if you look at it from the thirty-six thousand foot view it's huge the truth of it is tiger woods he doesn't move the needle he is the needle and from my personal experiences when tiger's in, in an event there's just a different energy the crowds are different the buzz is different the television coverage is different, and, and and he brings a little something different. Now, playing in the PNC Challenge this weekend, I wouldn't say it would be as significant as Tiger lining up perhaps next week in Los Angeles for his home event, the Genesis, or showing up at Augusta National on the tee sheet. I think that'll be tremendously significant. But for Tiger to come back now and sort of show us that, hold on, I'm still Tiger Woods. You know, I was in this horrific car wreck just a little while back and I'm walking and I'm not just walking. I look fit. I'm playing golf. Yes, it might be a bit of a test for him to see where the body is over 36 holes. But just from a personal point of view, I think it is hugely significant for Tiger. We are full service here on CBS Sports HQ. We're to tell you that Caesar Sportsbook has eight to one odds for Tiger to win at least one major. That means same odds as Will Zalatoris, Daniel Berger, Scotty Scheffler and Sung J.M. That, that's a betting thing. That's liability in the betting market because everyone wants a, a Tiger Woods ticket, Mark. But my question more to you is just really, since you're out there, you know these guys, you know what it takes. What's the likelihood you think for Tiger Woods at these major championships? Do you think we'll see that he'll even play in any of the four? At the risk of getting a bunch of social media heat, Tommy, I'm going to go um, winning one of these things unlikely. Uh, not because he doesn't have the skill in his hands, and he's referenced that. I mean, Tiger can hit the shots and he said as much, but walking some of these venues, Augusta National is difficult. It's really hilly. Southern Hills in Oklahoma, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hilly over there. And um, then Brookline in Massachusetts, that's a pretty big walk as well. I think if there is a chance for Tiger to contend in one, it would be at the old course at St. Andrews. It's flat. It's a short golf course. Uh, the weather there mitigates uh, skill sometimes, or not mitigates skill, but mitigates fitness, if you will. You've got to hit different shots. You have to be creative, and you play a different sort of a game. It's a game played on the ground. You don't need the power through the air that the modern-day players currently have that the other major championships ask for. So I think Tiger contending, possibly. Uh, I'd hope to see him play. I think him playing this week is proof maybe that he will play. But I think his best chance to contend would be in the Open at St. Andrews next year. All right, that would be July 11th to the 17th. And in general, too, 
Mark Tiger has already already been selective with the tournaments non-major championships that he already had on his schedule how much do you think that changes if any this season I don't think it changes at all you know he said to us in the past when we those multiple back surgeries that it was all about rest and recovery and and the time between events was a big deal and now he said as much that he can't practice for as long a clip at a time so there'll be space in between events he'll do typical tiger things I'm not sure of the number of events he will play but here's the thing about Tiger. Uh, you don't bet against him. I have in the past, and I've come off on the wrong side of the bet. And and he's proven that mentally he's the most acute athlete, in my opinion, of all time. And he knows how to prepare. So there'll be time spent. But you can rest assured when he comes back, he comes back and he's playing well. Mark, we have time to circle back to Charlie. At 11 years old last year, 12 now, we saw him make some swings that reminds us of Tiger. We've got that video that we're going to bring back right now. What are we seeing with, with Charlie and his evolution of his very early swing here? Well, the swing is beautiful. He's athletic. You can see that Tiger has taken a real sort of a kid gloves approach with him. There's no over instruction. He lets his boy play an athletic game, just like Tiger used to. Feel, moving the ball through the air. But then there's these mannerisms. You can see that he's got some of the, the woods DNA and he's learned from the best. I mean, think of Tiger. There's that iconic fist pump. There's the finger pointing thing. There's, there's, he's come out with various iterations of the club twirl. And we see uh, Charlie doing the same thing. And then at one stage, I don't know if you guys recall, Tiger went through this thing where, remember the MJ tongue out when he'd go up for a layup or a dunk? Well, Tiger was doing this while hitting golf shots. So he's always been at the forefront of sort of setting the tone. And I see Charlie following in dad's uh, footsteps. Or well, I look to see that play out once again this year, this week out in Orlando. Mark, certainly appreciate it. Want to remind everybody about the First Cut podcast among the topics discussed. This tournament with Rick Gaiman, Kyle Porter, Greg Ducharme, and our guy Mark. Talking about expectations for Tiger. The championship preview and 2021 tournaments ranked. Make sure you download and follow the First Cut pod today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.